Welcome back to Voodoo Family Travels. I'm Greg. And I'm Val. Join us today back in Ireland at the Lansdowne Hotel and Theatre for an Irish music and dance show. Good, good. You're all very welcome to our little uh, Irish music and dance session here uh, at the Irish House Party in the Lansdowne Hotel. Before we start, I just want to introduce you guys uh, to us. Uh, basically, my name's Jerry. Uh, I'm going to be playing the guitar and singing a few songs for you this afternoon. This is Aideen on the Hello. fiddle. Uh, give her a big round of applause, Aideen on the fiddle. Yeah. Why not? And our secret weapon is limbering up even as we speak. He's down at the back of the room um, stretching. He's a phenomenal solo. So there he is giving us a wave. Give him a big wave, Kieran. Hi, Kieran. And a round of applause. Yes, he deserves it. He's a fantastic... Oh, not too much applause. you will be giving him a big head. Uh, he's a fantastic solo step dancer. He's going to be showing you guys how the professionals do it. And then we're going to be looking for a couple of victim uh, volunteers for uh, some Irish dancing in a little while. But we're going to start off with uh, a couple of traditional Irish jigs just to get us warmed up. Now, just to mention, um, guys, the bar outside is open, so feel free to come and go if you feel thirsty or you want to get a drink. That's no problem at all. Irish dancing. First of all, do we have any dancers in the room? A few dancers? Yes? Very good. We're looking forward to seeing some of their moves in a little while. Um, I'm sure you've probably heard of the kind of Irish dance shows such as River Dance or Lord of the Dance. Yeah, heard of those, yeah. So those kind of shows really popularised solo step dancing all over the world. But here in Ireland, we actually have a couple of different styles of dance. So the first style is solo step dancing which is what you see in the big shows like River Dance. We then have a much older style. If the guys come in, if you want to come up here to the, the front, there's plenty of seats up here as well. If you want to come up to the side of the stage. The VIP seats. Yes. Go, Hannah. <laughs> Go, Mammy. Hi. Hi. Welcome, Hannah and Mammy. Hello. <laughs> so we have step dancing which you'll see in river dance we then have a much older style of dance known as shan notes dancing and shan notes are just two irish or gaelic words and when translated into english just mean old style of dance so a shan notes dancing tradition 
And the third style is group or Kaylee dancing. And as Jerry mentioned, we're going to be looking for a couple of volunteers in a little while for some simple Kaylee dancing. But to start off, we're going to get uh, Kieran to go up on stage to show us how the professionals do it. So he's going to give us an example of some solo step dancing before then putting you through your paces in a little while. So ladies and gentlemen, can you please put your hands together for Kieran? Fantastic. Thanks, Kieran. Hands up, who'd like to try that? No, that's, that's step dancing. That takes years and years to learn. What we're going to be uh, showing you guys is a little bit of Kaylee dancing, which is more like falling off a log. It's very, very easy. You'll be glad to hear. But uh, while Kieran is catching his breath, I'm going to do a song for you. And um, this is a song in the Irish language. Now, obviously, most parts of Ireland today speak English as the first language. But Irish or Gaelic is still our official language. And there still are parts of Ireland where Irish is spoken as the first language. They're called Gaeltacht areas. And there's a big one over in the, in the west of Ireland. Um, but anybody learn any Irish words since they've been here that they're prepared to share in public? <laughs> Top of the morning is very Irish, but it's not actually Gaelic. <laughs> Yeah, and I know another, another good Irish one. Somebody stole my lucky charms. That's another <laughs> Irish one. It's not actually Gaelic, though. Anybody know any Gaelic Irish? Yeah? I have a tattoo that says Niart. Niart. I like it. Niart. 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 Yeah, it's Niart. Oh, yeah. That's great. Niart. Niart. We'll have to double check that one now. <laughs> Do you know what it means? Strength. Oh, you're right. Strength. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. it does mean strength. <laughs> it does mean strength. <laughs> Just as well. <laughs> Just as well, I didn't tell you. That sounds like turkey or something like that. <laughs> it does mean strength. Nyart means strength. No, you're, you're, it's, it is. Nyart is strength. Well done. I like it. Anybody else got any Irish words? Well, I noticed some people having a lovely pint of Guinness there when I came in. In Ireland, if you're having a pint, you'd normally raise it up skyward and say, Slauncha, before you take your first gulp. Slauncha is the Irish for cheers. Slauncha. So, yeah, Slauncha. Slauncha. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be any drink. It can be Coca-Cola if you're under 18 uh, or whatever you're having yourself. But... Um, what else have we got? Crack, have you heard that one? Yes. Cra Not crack cocaine, that's a different one. Good crack now. is the Irish word for fun. So you'll hear people saying, we're having great crack, or we're having loads of crack. <laughs> it doesn't mean they're taking lots of drugs. <laughs> well, maybe they are, but they're having fun doing it, that's the main thing. <laughs> crack is the Irish for fun. Anyway. This song, as I said, is a song in Irish. It comes from the west of Ireland, and it's a song that's very special to me personally because I learned it from my grandmother. And she was a great woman. She drank and smoked every day of her life, right up until the age of 89. And at 89, she began to worry about her health. <laughs> so she decided to give up the drinking, 
and give up the smoking and she started to walk one mile every day. She's 92 now and we haven't a clue where she is. <laughs> this one is called Kanya Van Erigen. together. So Kaylee dances would be dances that would be performed at kind of parties or celebrations and uh, I suppose the main purpose of these dances was just so that everybody could get up, have a bit of crack with the dance and get involved. So there's absolutely no technical ability needed whatsoever. So we're going to get each of the groups up to try this, uh, some, some simple Kaylee dancing. We might start with Stephen's group, seeing as you're here in uh, the front the front row. Huh. So could we get maybe 10 or 12? Victims of volunteers. volunteers. If you'd like to come over here to Kiran and he's going to show you some simple Kaylee yeah. moves. We are. Yeah. Over here, yes. So we're going to need a few more. Okay, we're going to need at least at least ten. Go, up you go. Anyone else? Anyone else in Stephen's group like to try? Would any of you like to try it? I know you're not you're not in Stephen's group. Would you like to try it? We may as well. We only have a few here, so we need a few more. And if the rest of you guys want to keep an eye on the steps that uh, Kiron's going to show them and we'll get the rest of you up in a couple of minutes.
No, never, no more. Got it? Have you heard it before? Yeah. The words are very easy. It's just no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. Okay? Let's try it all together, singing and clapping. Here we go. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never. I've been a wild rover for many a year And I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning with gold and great store And I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play I went into an alehouse where I used to frequent And I told the landlady my money was spent I asked her for credit, she answered me nay Sure a custom like yours I can have any day And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more But I pay Sovereign's bright, and the landlady's eyes open wide with delight. She said, I have whiskey and wines of the best, and the words that I spoke show her only in jest. And it's no, nay, never, no, nay, never, no more. Will I be? I just want all the kids to sing it with me. All the students to sing it with me. Ready students, here we go. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the wild rover? No, never, no more. Not bad, not bad, guys. Okay, adults, let's see if you can beat that. Here we go, adults, all together. Two, three, four, and it's no. Some of, the, some of the kids thought they were adults there for some of that song, but that's okay. <laughs> go and give the marks for attempt, will we? Absolutely. I'll go home to my parents, confess what I've done, and I'll ask them to pardon their prodigal son. And if they caress me as oft times before, sure I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's no, nay, never, no, nay, never, no more. The Irish harp is one. The fiddle is not one. The flute, no. They, they are all instruments used in Irish music, but they're not originally from Ireland. I'll give you a clue. Uh, there's a picture of one of them over there. It looks like a big tambourine, you're right. It's, it's the Irish drum or the bowron. This is the bowron. And it's the, the oldest of the three instruments. Um, and it's used to keep the rhythm in Irish music, obviously. Uh, and it's made from a particular type of skin. Anybody know what skin that is? Sheep. Sheep? No. 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 Not ca Somebody said goat. Yeah, goat skin. It's made from goat skin. So goats do not like traditional Irish music for obvious reasons. <laughs> if you do happen to meet a goat on your travels around Ireland, whatever you do, don't mention the Bowron to them, because they'll run a mile. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, that's the Bowron. And the third instrument that comes from Ireland, it has a first cousin in Scotland. Bagpipe. The bagpipes. Everybody is familiar with the Scottish, the Highland bagpipes, right? Yes. 
Uh, well, in Ireland, we have a version of the pipes. They're called illen pipes here. And they're called illen pipes because you use your illen or your elbow. Illen is the Irish word for elbow. So you use your illen to pump the bag rather than blowing into the bag like the Scots do. The other big difference is with the Irish pipes, you don't have to wear a dress when you're playing them. <laughs> Scots love wearing those dress things, you know. But uh, yeah, so they are the three instruments that come from Ireland. The harp, by the way, there's a picture of the Irish harp. It's, um, it's a little bit different to the concert harp, the Irish harp. It's a bit smaller and uh, it evolved from an even smaller instrument called a lap harp. And are you guys going to Trinity College or you've been to Trinity College? Yes. Some have been, some are going. Okay, well maybe you have seen in there, in Trinity College, they still have an original 17th century Irish lap harp, which is a small little harp. It's what the modern day harp evolved from. And just one last thing on the harp, because it's a very special and, and important instrument in Ireland, because not only is it one of our indigenous instruments, it's also our national emblem. And for that reason, you'll see it all over the place. It's on the back of our euro coin. If you have a euro in your pocket, look at the back of it. If there's a harp on it, it was printed or minted in Ireland. Now, if there's no harp on the back of it, that just means it comes from another EU country because all the coins get mixed up. But the harp means it was minted in Ireland. The other thing about it is it's on the front of our passports. Every Irish passport has one of those harps on the front of it. And the adults will know this, my friends over here, will know that, yeah, the Irish harp is on the front of your pint of Guinness. And if you drink too many pints of Guinness, ladies, you might see two or three Irish harps on the front of it. But that's okay, you're on your holidays. All right, so let's get the next gang out. Who's next? Oh, the bell ran off. I forgot to show you what this thing does. I picked it up to play it, and then I forgot to play it. Anyway, um, yeah, so it keeps the rhythm in Irish music. And the two main rhythms are jigs and reels. You may have heard of the expression between the jigs and the reels. Yeah? No? no. Maybe? Well, it comes from this Irish, uh, Irish rhythms. Uh, a jig is just a piece of music that has six beats in every bar. So it has this kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And when we're kids and we're learning the rhythms, we use little phrases to help us remember it. So for that one, we might, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, we might say, rashers and sausages, rashers and sausages. <laughs> Have you had an Irish breakfast yet? Yes. So you know what a rasher is? Nice oh. thick cut of bacon with oh. some fat on the edge, and if you're lucky, still some hair attached. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rasher. Uh, everybody knows what a sausage is, and if you are offered black pudding with your Irish breakfast, just eat it. Don't ask questions. Trust me on that one. So that's the jig rhythm, the rashers and sausages. Then we have the reel. And a reel is a piece of music with four beats in every bar. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Everybody has their own little saying to help them remember it. Uh, my favorite one is a pint of Guinness, pint of Guinness, pint of Guinness. Um, Aideen's favorite one is Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber. <laughs> And uh, Kieran's favourite one is, who's your daddy, who's your daddy, who's your daddy? <laughs> so, we're going to start off with a little bit of rashers and sausages, a jig, and then we're going to segue into some Justin Bieber. So, have a listen and see if you can determine the change.
Baron. Just one last thing on the Bowron. Uh, it's played with this little stick, or kippeen, which is the Irish word for little stick, yes. And you may not have noticed, but with my left hand, while I was playing the music, I was moving my left hand up and down on the skin like that at the back of the drum. That's not because I was getting into the music in a slightly creepy way. It's because I was changing the tone of the skin. When you press on the skin, you can get a higher. You can, you can change the pitch. Anyway, there you go. The humble bower on. Not, as, not quite as sophisticated as the majestic Irish harp or the magnificent Illan pipes. It's just a dead gold stretched across a piece of wood, but it's still very, very effective as, as something to keep the rhythm. So guys, if, uh, it's come to the turn of Alice's group. So if anyone from Alice's group, if you'd like to come on over and try the simple Kaylee dance. We're going to the singing and clapping earlier on. I'm going to try one more of those with you. It's a very famous Dublin song about a very famous Dublin character. And if you've been in around the city centre, you've probably bumped into her already because there's a statue of her pushing her wheelbarrow on Suffolk Street. You know who I'm talking about? Molly Malone. Molly Malone, of course. The tart with the cart, as she was affectionately known around the city. It's still a very, very popular song, especially in Dublin. And I'm going to teach you guys the chorus. It goes like this. The words are very easy. It's just alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh. Crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Because she used to sell these cockles and mussels from the, the cart. She pushed the cart around and so, yeah. So here we go. Alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh. Crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Let's try it all together. Here we go. Sweet Molly Malone As she wheeled her wheelbarrow Through streets broad and narrow Crying cockles and mussels Alive, alive, oh Riley, she 
has taken to the stump. Poor old Daisy Riley, she will never give it up. Soft each morning to the heart, she drops in for another little drop of the heart. On the road with Daisy Riley, well she walks along Fitzgibbon Street with an independent air. And then she goes down Thomas Street, the people stop and stare. She says it's nearly half past one, time I had another little one at the heart. On the road with Daisy Riley, poor old Daisy Riley, she has taken to the shop. Poor old Daisy Riley, she will never give it up. Off each morning to the hut, she drops in for another little drop of the heart. On the road is Dicey Riley. Well done, guys. Okay, folks, we're going to do one last dance with you. So we need we need a couple of volunteers for this one. It's a different to the last dance we did. It's more of a, um, it's in a line, it's in two lines. So Kieran is making his way up to the dance floor. We're going to need some volunteers for this. So if you'd like to take part in this one, just come out to the side here. Just it's grab called a partner. You need to grab a partner. Shoot. Oh, grab a partner first. Grab a partner. So grab a partner. And over here for the the Shoot the donkey. Shoot the donkey. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll have to get Kieran to do a solo dance. Ah, here we go. We got, we got a couple of brave souls. This is the last dance of the afternoon, so anyone who would like to try it, please do. Do it. Oh, fantastic. Everybody, grab a partner and make a record. Okay, go on ahead. It's a couple of lines, Kieran. I want to do it. Okay. Yeah, go be your partner. I got me a girl. Yep, so girls, if you want to come on up here, yep, make your way up this way. So side by side, so side by side with your partner. A line of twos. To right, left to right, left to left. Yeah. So we're Turn. Up a one, two, three, 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 turn.
Hop back to the start, a bit faster. Hop a one two, hop a one two, hop a one two, three turn. Hop a one two, hop a one two, hop a one two, three turn. Hop a one two, hop a one two, hop a one two, three turn. Hop a one two, hop a one two, hop a one two. Second part. Hop a one two, three turn. Hop a one two, three turn. Hop a one two, three turn. One two, three turn. Guys, we're coming towards the end of our little session here this afternoon. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah. That's the main thing, that's the main thing. We're going to finish off with one last tune, uh, a reel, so a little bit of Justin Bieber. And uh, we might get Kieran to leap into action for the, uh, for the last number. So, guys, between the singing, the clapping, the dancing, very, very talented people here today. Give yourselves a round of applause, you deserve it. Well done. Big round of applause for Amy on the fiddle. Big round of applause for Kieran on the shoes. And for Siri on guitar. Guys, don't forget to join us on um, Instagram and Facebook and all of that good stuff. And if anyone would like a little souvenir to practice their dancing when they go home, we have a few CDs on sale after the show. So, thanks again, guys. And enjoy the rest of your time in Dublin. I want to finish off with a reel. Thank you again for watching Voodoo Family Travels. I'm Greg. And I'm Val. Join us again next time. Bye.